From the Oklahoma <coughs> Newsroom, this is an OSU and Varsity Update. I'm Jenny Carlson talking to Jacob Unruh, who's on the phone. And Jacob, the reason it's an OSU and Varsity Update is because we've got a little crossover news here. Barry J. Sanders, the former Heritage Hall standout who spent the last four years at Stanford, told you on Tuesday that he's been granted his release and is maybe looking to move to OSU. What, what did come out of that conversation when you did talk to Barry J.? Uh, the one thing that stood out is, you know, that he was very grateful for his time at Stanford. You know, he's getting a degree in June. Um, he's, he's, but he's ready to move on. I mean, Christian McCaffrey is in front of him. Uh, he's not going anywhere, obviously. So I think he's ready to move on after playing sparingly and, and he basically said, you know, we want to, I want to find a common ground with Oklahoma State. When I specifically asked him about the Cowboys, that's his response was, you know, I haven't talked to him yet, but my, my plan is maybe we can find a common ground. So it kind of sounds like maybe that might be where he's leaning, though he wouldn't really say any other schools that he would consider either. I think he's still just now weighing his options now that he can start talking to people and uh, as his official release to uh, any school outside the Pac-12. Yeah, and as he said to you, you know, Pac-12 uh, schools, he can't go to any of those. But Stanford really the cream of the crop right now in the, in the Pac-12, so he didn't really seem to indicate that that was a, a thought for him. So I guess he's probably looking, you know, maybe closer to home. And obviously his dad's legacy at OSU, that has to be a draw to him as well. Yeah, you would think so. You know, he said he's talked to his dad and, and his mom about their decisions and didn't really say much about what his, his parents have said to them, to him or anything. But, um, you know, I know from talking to people around him that playing at Oklahoma State is a draw, following his dad's legacy for one year is a draw. And I know his dad's behind it from talking to other people, too, um, that, you know, this is something that could be really cool um, for Oklahoma State, for the fans, um, on the football field, because he's a pretty good running back who's just stuck in a position where he's behind – one of the best players in the country. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think this could be a really good uh, thing if it, if it happens to work out. Jacob, finally, did he say anything to you about uh, just the situation at OSU? I mean, their run game obviously struggled this last season, an offensive line that really had difficulty uh, finding its footing when it came to blocking for the run game. Uh, Chris Carson will return. Rennie Childs will return. Did Barry J say anything just in terms of, uh, you know, the state of OSU's running game? No, he didn't really elaborate. Um, I, he, he basically kind of kept it quiet and said that, you know, he doesn't really, I think, want to comment too much on things yet until mm -hmm. he knows uh, an idea of where he's going for sure. Yeah, well, we'll uh, obviously continue to follow that. We're sure that Oklahoma State fans will be interested to know what Barry J. Sanders decides. And obviously, school starting at OSU here in the next week or so, so we know a decision will be coming soon. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.